All right, guys, welcome to a test episode of what I'm calling the D-Pad. I'm Jeremy, and this is Ryan Dooley, Papa Dooley, my dad. Hi, everybody. <laughs> he was going to play the first game I ever played when I was a kid, which was Pokemon. So you're going to be playing Pokemon. 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 Pokemon, yeah. I thought it was Pokemon. The game we're playing right now, Dad, is called Pokemon Fire Red. It's a remake of the first game I ever played, which was called Pokemon. I played Pokemon Blue, which came out in 1996. But that was my first game. You and mom got me a Game Boy and Pokemon Blue. So that's what started it all. Mom got it for you. Mom got it mom for got me. It you did not you. want I, that. I, 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 all right, wait a minute. Oops. I got to uh, get ready here. <laughs> <laughs> I got Pinky Chew or whatever his name is. <laughs> What's his name? Pikachu. Pikachu. Pinkachu. Pinkachu is fine. Right. I mean, we'll probably we might run into him in this because right. he's pretty early in the game. So you're gonna grab that controller. Okay. In the world which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand <laughs> adventure with you as the hero. All right. All right. It's starting off, but don't right. worry, you're not gonna be right in the action because you have to meet this man. Hey, Dr. Fauci. This is prof <laughs> This is <laughs> Professor Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. <laughs> this world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. So that's the whole premise of this, is Pokemon, you use them, you fight other people's Pokemon. They're basically pets that you fight with. I mean, well, it's kind of dark. Good. Yeah, yeah it's kind of dark, good. but it's what it is. Uh, but first, tell me a little about yourself. So he's gonna ask you some questions about you. First off, are you a boy or a girl? Well, <laughs> this, I, oh, okay. Yep, and then, there we go. So uh, I you, move that over like- Yep, the, oh. just like that. And then you hit A to select the letter. There you go. Nailed it. Okay, now see, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hit this button for you, and then hit A. Hey, okay. not like a Canadian. Right. So your name is Brian. Yep. He's been your rival since you were both, since you both were babies. So also in this game, you're, su you're supposed to be ten. You're going out on this adventure. They send ten-year-olds out on adventures. I'm ten. You're ten in this. So what? It, so you can either pick one of these names, or you can name your rival whatever you want, whoever you want your enemy to be. Jeremy. No, I'm gonna do Bud. Oh, do Bud. All right. Bud is uh, what my dad calls me, so I am the rival. That's right. I remember now. His name is Bud. <laughs> yeah, I forgot his grandson's name, <laughs> yeah, but that's yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian! Yes. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Oh. All right. All right, you're in the game now, so you can move around using those directions. Yeah, but what, what, what's the point? Where am I going? What do I do? Um, so there's stairs there. You can head for the stairs. Those are stairs? Yeah, see in the top right there? Yeah. So if you go right, there you go. Yeah, and then Where's go the door? up and then left. There you go. Down the stairs. So that's your mom right hey. there. So I go over and say hi? Yeah, you can go say hi. Oh, I have and to then, get right on top Yeah, yeah, you got to go right up oh. to him. Right, all boys leave home someday. Uh, Professor Oak next door was looking for you. Uh oh. Okay. So welcome to Pallet Town. This is the town you grew up in. Ah, I like your Pallet hometown. Town. So this is the professor's lab. This big building right here. So there's Bud. Where? Right here. That's Bud right, standing you, there. But I don't like you, right? Yeah, you can talk to him still. I can. Yep. You just go up to him and hit A. What? What? Well, it's only <laughs> Brian. <laughs> So you're gonna go left and you're gonna go up. Oh, oh. not back in. <laughs> back up. Am I going in the trees? Yep, you're gonna go into. That's look, how you exit. Those look like pot plants. It, they do look like pot plants. Yeah, that's called tall grass in this, oh. which is kind of the same thing. Okay. All right. So Oak is saying that's Professor Oak. He said it's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. Uh oh. So you can't just go into the tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. So you can't just go into so where I Pokemon gotta, are. So do I gotta get one? He's gonna give you one. How's he gonna give you one? He's just gonna give you one. It's not how you normally get them, but he gives you your first Pokemon. The thing is, you're gonna have to choose between three Pokemon which one you want. Uh, well, why am I following you, bud? What do you mean? I just followed you. You followed one. Professor. That's Professor Oak. Oh. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon <laughs> trainer. But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. So you get to choose between three Pokemon. So this is Bulbasaur. Ooh. That's the first option. So say, n oh. I want him. He was nasty looking. 
Well, yeah. I supposed to go, like, well, you can look at the other two and, and decide. So I can go to B. I don't, I don't know if you can now. I can go B and go back. I think you already said yes. Oh, all right. You did. All right, you get Bulbasaur. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we'd have to go through the whole thing again. <laughs> Basically, there's three Pokemon here. A grass one, which you took. A water one. And a fire one. So he took the fire one. Okay. Because it's good against grass. Yeah, but don't you need it to get into the grass? Come on. I'll take you on. So he wants to battle. Who does? Bud. What do you want? What do you mean battle? So Bud just got his Pokemon. You got your Pokemon. He's ready to fight. I don't know how to fight him. You'll, you'll find out. This is how you learn. All right, so Rival Bud's sending out his Charmander he just got. Yeah. So there's Charmander. And you're sending out Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. You've never had a Pokemon battle before, have no, you? No. no. You can see you have all these different options. You got Fight, Bag, Pokemon, Run. You're just going to have to worry about Fight right now. Uh, I want to run. You can't, <laughs> no, you can't run from a battle. So Bulbasaur has two moves. He's got Tackle and Growl. There you go. So Bulbasaur, he's Tackle. Boom. So see, you hit him, you did some damage. All right, now what do I do? Inflicted damage on the foe is the key to any battle. But now he gets to go, and he's going to use Scratch. I mean, I don't actually fight him? You fight the Charmander, so you're fighting. I'm fighting now? Yeah, right now we don't know a lot of moves because we're new. We're only level 5. We're a little, little baby Pokemon. Oh, a critical hit. So you just did a ton of damage to him. Yes. He's going to use Scratch Take that again. That's a boy, Publisaw. As long as you don't miss, he got it. I don't know what I did. You did it. You beat Charmander. You beat Bud. You beat Charmander. So Charmander fainted. Yeah, but how did I do it? You used Tackle. You bunch and you lowered his HP to zero. So Bulbasaur just got a bunch of experience. He grew to level six. So he's even stronger now because you won. So every time you win, <laughs> they get stronger and stronger. I don't get it. You're good. You're yeah, good. but I didn't do anything. You did. You used Tackle until you beat him. There you go. Def player. So I your player, Brian, defeated rival Bud. You're all Bud. Yep, I picked the wrong Pokemon. Yeah, see? you did. He's dead. You right, you did. picked Bulbasaur. And I'll tell you, Dad, when I played this and when I still play this game, I pick Bulbasaur. I like Bulbasaur. Wow, isn't he's that my weird, favorite. Huh? Hmm, excellent. excellent. If you win, you earn prize money. Yeah, he paid you because you won. Who, who pays me? Bud, you you basically robbed him. You beat up his <laughs> pet and robbed him. <laughs> I love it. Brian Graham, smell you later. Yeah, he's a jerk. So there he is. There's your Bulbasaur. It's a girl. Um, Girl Bulbasaur? Yeah. Every Pokemon's got a type. So he has Charmander, which is fire. Right? So, you know, he had a lizard with a fire yeah, on his tail. he's gone now. He, well, he'll be back. The Charmander oh. will heal up and be back. So every Pokemon's got different types. Yours, Bulbasaur, is grass and poison. Ooh. So it's a, it's a mix between a frog and a flower. Don't smoke grass. It's poison. There you go. Is It's like rock, paper, scissors. Okay. So grass is weak to fire which he has. Uh, then fire is weak to water. Water is weak to grass. So it's like a circle. Oh, okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. But there's a lot more. There's electric. There's ground. There's rock. There's flying. There's fighting. There's all different things. You'll, you, we'll get it as you go through. You don't have to worry about it now. All right, we're back in the game. Now you can go in the tall grass because you have a Pokemon. So you're clear to go into the tall grass. Oh. We're, we're back inside. Well, I was... Yeah, yeah, I just, had to go to the bathroom. You can take a look. So there was a guy up there. So you can't go past this wall. Oh. You've run into a wild Pokemon oh, in the no. tall grass. What do I do now? All right. So you've run into a wild Pidgey. A wild Pidgey? Yeah. So <laughs> you're setting out Bulbasaur. Here's your yeah, options. Yeah. <laughs> you can fight it and get some experience, or Let's you can run. Or you can I'm run. fighting it. Okay. Good hit. So see, you're, you are level... It used Tackle Back. So you're level six. It's level three. Oh, I can beat him. You can probably beat the Pidgey. So these are some of the earliest Pokemon in the game. Now, eventually... Ooh, he got a crit, though. He did a, he did a good amount of On damage. On me? Yeah. He hit you with a critical hit. I would keep fight. If you start a fight, fit I would finish it. Um, no. There you go. He's dead. You got a critical, so. I'm dead? No, he is. You got the Pidgey. You beat the Pidgey. So hit A again. You're going to get some experience for beating him, though. See this blue bar here? So when you hit A, you're going to get some experience. Whoop! Like that. Wow. And when that fills up, you get another level. He works at the Pokemon Mart. Oh. It's part of a convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit us in Viridian City. I know. I'll give you a sample. Here you go. He just gave you he gave you an item. Give you a potion. He gave me... Oh, potion. I thought it said poison. No, no, no. Uh, potion. That will heal Bulbasaur. Oh. So you can use that. Nice. One more tackle should do it. There you go. I got him? You got him. Freaking Pidgey. 
<laughs> you got Pidgey. And then this might be enough to get you to level 7 here. Yep. There you go. Bulbasaur is level 7. What does that mean? It means he's getting stronger. His, uh, his attack and everything gets a little better. He gets more health. Uh, and he might learn a new move. He did. So he learned a new move. He learned a move called Leech Seed. Ooh, this is probably your last encounter. Is that a Pidgey? It's another oh, Pidgey. Another Pidgey. Now, you don't have to fight every one. You can. Oh. I could run now? You could run if you want, because this is a wild Pokemon. You can fight it, and leveling up is not a bad idea. Ooh, so if he hits you two more times, I think it's going to be able to take you out. Unless he gets a critical right here. He got the critical! So Bulbasaur just fainted. Oh, no, man. you're No, you're still in it. You're still in it. So Brian is out of usable Pokemon. That was your last Pokemon. He fainted. You panicked. You dropped 56 bucks, and you white it out, they call it. So, that's, uh, you'll see, it'll all go, it'll fade out, and then Brian scurried back home, protecting the exhausted and fainted Pokemon from further harm, so you protected Bulbasaur, and you got home. So, you're back with Mom. Welcome home. Hi, Mom. So, you're gonna go left. He's gonna go around this wall, remember? Yeah, but, uh, oh, there's no other way, uh... Yeah, there's no other way right now. Oh, you've run into a Rattata! So, oh, that's it. Uh... Should I fight a Rattata? You can fight a Rattata, yeah. Should I fight him? If you want to, yeah. Well, what's a what's a good move? Are they are they dangerous? Um, they're still you're still early, so mostly you're gonna run into mice and birds. See his bar up there? See how oh. it went from green to yellow, oh. and oh. then it's gone. So you beat him. Oh. As soon as that bar empties, you beat him. <gasps> you're doing good. You're doing good. We're gonna get you to your first city. If we can get if we can get you a, a badge in this. I don't know so, if I'm good at this. Yeah, you you got it. You got I'm it. I'm just good at being bad. I, you know that's one of my songs. Yep, you got I, it. I know. All right. The only gonna... I'm guilty of is being mm -hmm. All right. close. <laughs> just being bad at good, being good at bad. And there we go. We've entered Viridian City. So Which way? Keep going up. Oh, I can go up? Well, you can go through that little gap there. All right. So this building with the red roof here, this is a Pokémon Center. Should I go in? Yep. Let's head on in. Yeah, I'm getting good at this. You're thing. getting good at it. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't take too long. So if you go straight up from here and talk to her, this is Nurse Joy. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. So basically, the Pokemon world has free health care. She'll take free your, healthcare. Yeah, she'll take your Pokemon for free, put it on this thing, and Bulbasaur is now back to full health. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to perfect health. Thank you. And then she says, we hope to see you again, which is kind of like a almost a threat. And then you can leave. I don't want to. <laughs> You're looking for a place with a blue roof. Got any duck? Got any duck for me? Hey, you came from Pallet Town. I did. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? Do I say yes or no? Yep. So they gave you a, a package for Professor Oak. All right, so now you got to bring Oak this package, but he's going to give you something for it. So you remember where Oak was, right? Uh, no. Okay, so see these walls that you couldn't get past below yeah. you? Walk right into it. Walk into the wall? Boop! There you go. So if you go at it from above, you jump over it. You just can't go back up. <laughs> so you're going to work your way back down to Pallet Town. So you can go left. I can jump or, over Yep, you can jump over it, and then you have to go through this. Oh, almost all the way through, but they got you. Oh, Ano another rat. I'm after him. That's it. I'm fighting him. Oh, yeah. I Good hit. That. that was a critical hit almost. So Bulbasaur eventually won't be a Bulbasaur anymore. He'll what's change. He He'll change into something. What's he or be? she, I guess. But uh, you'll see when it happens. You'll probably get to that point. So My, my Bulbasaur is going to change into something else? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Here comes Bud. <laughs> I thought he was dead. He's not dead. You just you knocked out his Charmander. You can't get detailed data on Pokemon just by seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here's the tools for catching wild Pokemon. I got to catch a wild Pokemon. So he gave you Pokeballs. You can now catch the Pidgey and Rattata if you want them. I got Pokeballs. That was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't get the job done. I know so that I want one. you two to fulfill my dream for me. All right, bud. Get moving, you two. Let's do it. Brian, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Brian. Ha ha ha. Don't bother coming around to my place after this. 
Yeah, he's a jerk. He is. What? He's a real jerk. So. Do I have to go up the grass again? Yes. We're going to head back up to Viridian City. But now, if you run into a wild Pokemon, you can catch it if you want. How do I catch it? Well, we'll get to that do when we... Do I have we... to fight him? You have to... You should fight them and weaken them first. But then you have to throw a Pokeball at it. But let's just get back to Viridian City. I can't City. jump over the wall, right? Right. You have to go back through the grass. But there you go. You haven't run into anything yet. I always run into something. There See, you go. I always run into something. It's usually there. Oh, this guy. So do you want a Rattata on your team? No, I don't think okay. that good. That's fine. I'll tell you, Pidgey, Pidgey is not bad. Because Pidgey yeah, can... Pidgey seem to be a little tougher okay. than this guy. We can get you like a level three Pidgey. Right at the end. Right at the end. I probably shouldn't go in a straight line in the grass. I no, 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 no. Straight line's the best way to do it. Oh, really? Is that the only two things you fight? Or the in, this, in, the, in this area, yes. You can only run into those. Ah, can nice. I go up through that white stuff? Yep, yep. You can go right here. And then you might want to pop in here, heal up Bulbasaur. I don't have a package for anybody, though. Yeah. Didn't I go in there last time to get a package? In the Pokemart. This is where you heal Bulbasaur. So if you go straight up, she'll fix Bulbasaur for you. Because he's missing. For free, too. It's for free. free. Help. For free. free it's a great system. <laughs> it's a gr it is. Free help. Yeah. yeah. As a Pokemon trainer... You need to fight to the gyms. There's different cities that have gyms with a strong trainer at the end. And if you beat them, they give you a badge. Wow. So I you're trying to earn eight badges. You got to fight. God, I've been working out. I got to yeah. keep fighting here. So we're going to try to get you the first badge. So you need to get, you're in Viridian City. You need to get to Pewter City. They're all named after colors. Or go back in. Or go back in. Who's this guy? I don't know. You can talk to him. Well, now I've had my coffee, and <laughs> that's what I need to get going. <laughs> you don't know how to catch a Pokemon? No. I suppose I'd better show you then. Okay. So, so you, this guy's going to teach you how to do it. So that was a good stop then. It's awesome. Good stop. All right, so there's a Weedle you just found. A what? A Weedle. So it's like a worm with a needle. Ooh. <laughs> the naming conventions sometimes are... You know, they're, they're not super creative, but you know. So, he just went to his bag, he picked a Pokeball, he threw it at the Weedle. And? And he got it. So he caught a Weedle. So, can I steal it off of him? No. So here's a gym here. Remember I said you want to fight the gyms and get the badges? So this is a gym. But, Viridian Gym's doors are locked. So you can't get into this gym yet. Well, who's this cat then? You can... What did I do that for? So what's your what's your goal right now? I have no idea. Okay. All right. So I guess I should get into some grass then. Yep. So oh, we're nice. We're going into some new areas. We're on Route Two. Route Two. Route Two. That was Route One that you were back on All back right. there. Oh, we got some more grass here. Let's do it. I would assume there's some. Ooh, we didn't run into anything yet. What's that? What that Pokeball there? That, so that's an item, but you can't get there yet. Oh. But that's something you can pick up. Ooh, all right. So we're entering a new area. This is the Viridian Forest. So we're in a forest now. <laughs> so in is that you, bud? That's not me. Yeah, oh. The colors look good, though. Now there are trainers in here. You can run into other people that, are, that want to battle. All right. So there's grass. You can run into stuff. Here's something. Yeah, let's fight some. A Ooh, what's Ooh, that? A Caterpie. A level five Caterpie. Ooh, that sounds tough. Uh, you can try to catch it if you want it. How do you catch it? Bag it, you mean? Well, so you can, if you if you want, do you want to catch a Caterpie? Well, I haven't. You can do it. So here, hit fight. Yeah. And tackle it. So you're going to just try to hurt it a little bit. So see its health is all full. It's still green. You want to get it down to about... Ooh, what's he firing at me? So you string shot. So it's going to make it... You're slower now. So he might now be able to go before you. See? He goes first now. He's faster than you. But he can only do two damage. All right. He's yellow. Oh. Now what? Well, if this doesn't kill it. Let's see. Okay. So now go to bag instead of fight. Okay. Go right. Go right. Okay, Pokeball. Hit A and use. Brian, use the Pokeball. <laughs> I 
And you got it. You have a Caterpie now. Caterpie was caught. So there you go. You're the proud owner of a brand new Caterpie. And then the Pokedex will update you. The worm Pokemon, it's covered with a green skin. When it grows, it sheds the skin, covers itself with silk, and becomes a cocoon. Wow. But he's still very hurt. You have him, but he's hurt. If you want to fix him, you got to go back to the center. Oh, I got to bring him all the way back. To... That's way down there, though. It's, it's, it's you know, a little bit. It's a hike, but I can't go any further, though. Well, you can go left. Um, and yeah, then... but left is the tree. Well, it's the grass. So if you stay in the grass, you're going to run into yeah. a Weedle. I don't like Weedle. Okay. Gonna get the experience? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what I did. I wanted to get run, but I decided to fight. There you go. 29 more experience. Well, I'm way up there in experience. You're, you're almost at nine. Okay. So now you can head down. I'll tell you the direction you're supposed to go is to the right. Oh, there's an item there. See that? Can I get it now? Yep. You can walk up oh, to it. Oh, I got this. Yeah, you can walk up to it and hit A. Oh, a Pikachu! Those are really rare. Oh, really? Sorry. Yeah, so you want to try to catch this thing. Thank you, Chew. All right. So, do I fight him? Uh, I would hurt him a little bit. Yeah, use tackle. Hurt, or how do I hurt him? Use tackle. Like one of them or something? Well, yeah, that would hurt. Uh, emotionally, that would hurt him. But yeah. You look stupid. You don't want to You don't want to kill him. You don't want to make wanna... him faint. Oh, all right. But you want to try to get him out of the green there. So use Thundershock. Oh, he's firing at me. But it's not. But Bulbasaur is not affected by lightning. Oh, okay. So Bulbasaur is paralyzed. Oh, no. That means sometimes when you attack, he won't be able to do it. But try to use another tackle. So he's oh. growling. Pikachu's good. Oh. All right. So you can go for one more tackle to try to get him to red. Uh, or you can go for the Pokeball. Okay. We'll see if we can get him into the red here. Bulbasaur, he's tackle. As long as it's not a crit. Ooh. Okay. All right. Ooh, you used another tackle. Okay. Don't hit A so much. I'm We're going to try to get you through this. Oh, but he keeps using Growl, so your tackles are doing less and less. All right. Okay, so don't hit A. Go to Bag. We're going to see if we can catch this Pikachu. Throw it. See if we can catch this Pikachu. One, two, three. You got a Pikachu. Nice. That's tough. Those are tough to get. Those are tough to get in the woods. You got it. Look at that. That's a that's a rare thing it's to happen. Like one of those gold cards that you got the other night. It is. Yeah. It's it's like that. It's like getting a really rare card. So hit A. The Pokédex will tell you. It's a mouse Pokémon. It has small electric sacks on both its cheeks. If threatened, it loses like electric me. charges from the sacks. So it's those red things give out electricity. So what do So hit no if you don't want to name it or you can name no, it. No, no. All it right. So I would get the item. And then we might want to go heal you up, and then we'll go through the woods with your three new Pokemon. You got a potion. All right. So how do I how do, how do I ever lose? How do you lose? If all three of those get knocked out, you lose. So you don't want that to happen. So oh. do you want to keep Bulbasaur out front, or do you want to tra do you want to use Caterpie? Do you want to use Pikachu? What, what would Who's you? Who's the like? toughest, Pikachu? Um. I got him on. It's, Pikachu's pretty tough. Uh, Bulbasaur is pretty good, too. Caterpie isn't amazing, but can be amazing once it's a little stronger. So I should change my guy? So there's all your Pokemon. There they all are. So if they you... All have, they're all full of charge, too. Because right. Charge so ball. see how Bulbasaur is over here? Yeah. When you go into a fight, you're going to throw him out there. You can switch someone else in there. So when you go into a fight, you'll throw Pikachu out there, or you'll right. throw Caterpie out there. I want to throw Pikachu out. Okay, there. and let's go back into the forest. I go, why do I keep going up to the forest? Because we got to get through the forest to get to the next city. So the next city is Pewter City, and that's the first gym you can fight. All right. So this is where you got that potion from. Now we have the potion, so we don't have to go back to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes we can heal up. Oh, that guy saw guy? you. So this is your first trainer. So you fought Bud back. Now people are going to start seeing you and wanting to fight. So they, he says, I got Pokemon. You got Pokemon. Let's fight. I got to fight this guy Yep, now? Bug Catcher Rick. He wants to fight. So he's sending out a Weedle. I, oh, I can beat Weedle. Oh, he's level 6. You're level 5. Oh, so he's a tough one. He's a tough Weedle. So good use on Thundershock. Good move to use. Did I use Nice. It? Yep, you used Thundershock. How so did I use... do that? 
You clicked A a bunch. Thundershock. Yeah, Thundershock's a good move. Growl is not going to do much against him. Uh, what does Growl do anyhow? Does I think it on? lowers their attack. So his attacks will do less. Oh, he's stringing the hell out yep, of me. Yep, so that's going to make you slower. So he might oh. be able to go first. But that's oh. fine. It doesn't hurt you, though. Thundershock. So he's going to go first. As long as it doesn't poison you, you'll be okay. Ooh, critical hit. Oh, that's not a good hit. That wasn't a good hit. It's all right. It didn't poison you, though. You're good. I, I you did it. You beat Weedle. But he's got more Pokemon. So he's not done uh, yet. All right, he's about to use Caterpie now. Who is? The bug catcher Rick. He's got a Caterpie, too. He's fighting me again? Mm-hmm. He's got two Pokemon. I'm, I just beat him up, though. I want to go to the other guy. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur? Okay, so say yes. So there we go. You're going to say Pikachu. Good. Come back. And get Bulbasaur out there. Yeah. And then he'll put out Caterpie. Yeah, I want this guy. He's a tough guy. Oh. That's all right. They're just... Why don't I have any of that string stuff? Well, so what you can do is instead of using Tackle, so hit yeah. A, use Leech Seed. Go down and hit A on Leech Seed. But I, when did I get Leech Seed? I never You saw got it from it. leveling up to level 7. So you're going to use Leech Seed. What's that? So you planted all these seeds around him. Now watch. Every turn, you're going to absorb... A little bit of his health, and look, you healed. So he used a string shot, whatever. Yeah, but uh, you're just slower. It doesn't matter. He's already faster than you now, so it doesn't. That's that's do I anything. Like, I like string shot. So there you go. You tackle, and look, now you absorb a little bit more health. Look, he gets hurt. Oh uh, yeah. So hurt. leech seed is hurting him a little bit every time, and if you were hurt, it would heal you too. So I tackle him again. Yeah, tackle him again. Look, he's not even hurting you now. Yeah, you know nothing. If he was using tackle or something, he'd be hurting you, but he's not. He's just making you slower, but it's that doesn't do anything. I can go for another beer. Thank you. Oh, Cat, would you please get me a beer? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you did it. Caterpie fainted. Bulbasaur gained 67 experience. Oh, almost level 9. See you, Rick. Oh, no. Caterpie can't hack it. And then, of course, he's going to pay you money because you beat him. See you, Rick. Go 72. Some butterflies. Get out of here. So how do you win the game? Uh, you got to beat the eight gym leaders, and then... So you could fight him if you want, or you can just keep going. I There's a Pokeball know. there. Oh, get that. Get that. It's an item. So you found an antidote. So if someone gets poisoned, you can give them that, and they'll be fine. If who, uh, what? So, like, you know you get hit by Poison Sting, right? That's right. a move Weedle uses. Sometimes that'll poison you, and if you use an antidote... Oh! He wants to fight. Why does everybody want to fight on this game? Everybody wants to fight. That's the point. You get Pokemon, you got to fight them. Why can't we just love one another? <laughs> bug catcher Anthony wants to fight. So he has two Pokemon, uh, see? So you have three. One, two, three. Are they all bug catchers? Um, in here, yeah, kind of. What does he have? He's got Caterpie again. Uh -huh. You're going to send out Pikachu. How about if I go throw a ball at him right away? Uh, you can't if they're owned. Should do an okay amount. Ooh, That's pretty that, good. That was good. He's using String Shot. I don't care about String Shot. Makes you slower. If he hurts what you... What to my seeds? Okay. So we got a crit. So you're hurt. But he hit you. Since you're, like, electric, it paralyzed him to even touch you because Pikachu is, like, electric. So now you're going to use Thundershock here. And then I'm going to... We're going to use a potion next turn. Okay. So go to Bag. Go left. And left one more. Click potion. So A. And use. And then use it on Pikachu. So hit A. There you go. I'm back to normal. Back to normal. Caterpie's going to try to make you slow again. It's fine. And he then just doing that. And there you go. So you got a level 7 Caterpie with your level All 5 right. Pikachu. So that will probably level him up. Pikachu will probably be 6 now. And then one more should finish him off. There yes. it is. That Pikachu's tough. Pikachu's tough. 90 experience from that. Level 7. You're doing well. You're doing well. I think you only have to fight like two more people and then you're out of the forest. <laughs> I get out of the forest. What's yeah, and then after you, that? Uh, Pewter City. You're in the next city. And that's where the gym is. Oh, no. Yeah, you got to go through the grass. Look at that. Didn't run into anything. What, back up? Yup. 
There's a lot of grass you gotta go through. Oh! Now this guy, I don't know if he wants to fight or not. He how might. Do you, how do you know if he does? Um, you can talk to him. He'll either fight you or he'll give you something, maybe. He wants to fight. <laughs> he's got three Pokemon. After we fight this guy, you might want to put Bulbasaur up front. Oh, he's got a Metapod. What's, oh, I haven't seen that one That's before. what Caterpie turns into. So my Caterpie's going to turn into that? Eventually. If we, so he's stronger than my Caterpie, then. Well, here's the thing about Metapod. Metapod, you know how a Caterpillar in real life turns into a... It goes into a cocoon, and then it turns into a butterfly. That's right. the same. That's the cocoon. Now, here's the thing with Metapod. It only knows one move. What? Harden. Who? It knows Harden. He so can it, harden himself like cement? It, yeah, so he, he... But that's it. He can't hurt you. So just keep using Thundershock. He how, do you, he, how do you know that? I, I've played a lot of Pokemon. Well, what good is he then? Well, you want him to learn a certain move. Shit. You want him to learn a move called Vine Whip. All right, I'm not fighting now, right? Oh, am I fighting again? You're, you're fighting again. Here comes Caterpie. I'm fighting him again? There you go. So this bug catcher had a Metapod, a Caterpie, and then he's going to have something else. That's so. a lot of fight. So you can use Leech Seed at the beginning. You can, yeah, yeah, nice. Starting with Leech Seed's a yeah, good I'm move. I'm trying to weak him in a little bit right now. That's a good move. So he really can't hurt you very much. And just keep tackling him. Eventually he'll go down. And Bulbasaur is going to be level 9 at the end of this. Oh, oh critical. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Like Good. Them. Yeah, criticals do a lot of damage. So, there. But it's all chance. You never know when a critical is gonna happen. Um, and then I would leech seed him. Because we know seems, that that he, seems to be the best thing for these guys. Yeah, leech seed's great, especially because Metapod's gonna keep hardening. So your tackles are gonna do less and less and less and less damage. But leech seed will keep picking him apart. Ooh. Yep. What are those things he throws at me? No, that's you. That's you using Leech Seed. That's you taking his health away. Oh, so really? So now just start using Tackle. So I look at this, like the, the graphics on this is sort of like old-fashioned Atari uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, graphics. yeah. I mean, the one I played didn't, Atari, no, we didn't look before. nearly this good. I mean, when I when you guys got me a Game Boy, or Mom got me a Game Boy, I guess. Um, No, PlayStation. Well, what I got I had a Game Boy before PlayStation. Did you really? Yeah, the one that was this big, oh, right? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It didn't have any colors. It couldn't show color. It was just all black and white. And that's what Pokemon, the original from 1996, Pokemon Blue was on. I didn't play the game for a long time. At the beginning, you had to go down those stairs to leave your house. I didn't know those were stairs. I was stuck in that room for quite a while. So I didn't even play the game. I didn't know they were stairs. They didn't look like it. Let's see if you learn Vine Whip. That would be really good. There you go. All right, that's a great move. I thought you said Vine... I, oh, that was Tail Whip. Yeah, Vine Whip is excellent. This guy fighting me again? Nope. He's saying, oh, I lost. Oh. Like, you beat him. You beat all his Pokemon, and he gave you 84 bucks. $84? Poke dollars, oh. but yeah. Oh. Yep, one more patch of grass, but you're going to have to fight someone midway through. This guy. Oh, this is your last fight. battle before you're in Pewter City. Another He's got guy one Pokemon. Bug catch a Sammy. Boy, he has... He's just, he, all he has is a Weedle. That's it. Level 9 Weedle. So you have a level 7 Pikachu. Oh, you can probably beat him. What does a Tail Whip do? I, I, don't uh, I would just use Thundershock. Yeah. yeah, Tail Whip and Growl are... Um, they're moves that lower his attack. So, like, his... If he had Tackle or something, it would do less. But my Seeds weren't there. Well, because, yeah, Pikachu doesn't know Leech Seed. Oh. So only Bulbasaur can use Leech Seed. But Pikachu can use Thundershock. So easy. That was the last trainer that you have to fight in the forest. I think there's other ones in there, but yes. easy. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Fighting. Oh, I mean, don't try this at home. Fighting poison bugs. Yeah. So Pikachu is gonna be really good to have. Um, and he learned Thunder Wave. So Thunder Wave is a move. It won't do any damage, but it will paralyze them no matter what. When do I get to use that? It only it's just up when it's I... just a new attack that you have now. So you'll have Thundershock, Growl, Tail Whip, and Thunder Wave. And you're good. You're out of the forest. Like, like the uh, Wizard of Oz. Yeah. And then you can, like, yep. And you just keep going. And you have entered. So we're on the other side of Route 2. There's more grass here. I don't want to go in the grass okay. right now. I don't 
don't and then just keep anything. going and pewter city we've reached the next city okay so there's a pokemon center you can heal up now the thing you have to do in this city is fight the gym leader so you have to get your first badge here and they are not easy Man. so yeah Who's talk bad? to you might be able to beat the gym leader just because you have Bulbasaur. So you can go try to fight the gym now. Um, you'll you'll fight. There's a trainer in there you gotta fight first. So hit B a couple of times. I'm just telling you, Bulbasaur is gonna be your best bet at beating the gym. What so do you find? What do you find it's these guys? Up, so the gym is up that road. How do you know that? I just know where everything is. It's this building on your left here, but you gotta go left and down. So that's and then in the front door. So you gotta go left and around. <laughs> <laughs> all right so this is the pewter city gym so they specialize in rock type pokemon we haven't fought a rock type yet so you gotta fight this guy first wow he looks and then tough. that's brock that's the leader stop right there kid you're ten thousand light years from facing brock Oh, I don't like this. Yeah, spot. I recommend healing after you, after this battle too. This guy's kind of cocky. So he's, yeah, he's got two Pokemon. Yeah, I like the guy with the nets. This guy looks tough. Yeah, this is a tougher guy. All right, he's opening up with a Geo dude. Oh yeah. man, I have never seen one of those guys. Well, let me throw a ball at him. Yeah, you can't catch Geo dude. You will run into the Geo. You'll eventually be sick of seeing those. So use Vine Whip. So go really? down. Yeah, absolutely use Vine Whip on this guy. So. Leech seed won't do anything to him, huh? Well, yeah, so... Well, Leech Seed will. Look at that. One hit. So, here's why. How did that happen? So, um, like I said, you know Bulbas so Bulbasaur is a grass type, so he's weak to fire, right? Geodude is a rock type and a ground type. Both of those are weak to grass. So, your Vine Whip does... It's a grass type move. It does four times damage to that. So, take the damage Vine Whip does and times it by four. All right, Sandshrew's coming out. Wow, I haven't seen him either. Yep. Oh. Nice, good, good damage, hit. good damage. So what does he, this guy do? Let's see, he's gonna use Scratch. A what? Oh, that's not bad, he used Scratch. That's all he did. He might be able to take him out one more Vine Whip. Yes. Look at that. All right, trainer's down. So there's nothing between you and Brock right now. Um, what? Who's Brock? Brock's the gym leader. So I, I just fought him. No, this is just the guy before Brock. Brock's. Man, why does Brock send somebody else out to fight? Why didn't he just? Fight? He's gonna see if you're good enough. What am I gonna do now, Brock? So I would, I would, yeah, I would. We'll go get Bulbasaur back to full health. That way you have the potions. That's the Pokemon Mart. I was yeah. hungry. All right, yeah. The thing is, uh, again, bye, bye, bye. Bulbasaur, great pick for fighting Brock. The other option that you didn't see, because you got Bulbasaur and Bud took Charmander. There was also a, a Pokemon called a Squirtle, which was another one. That's a uh, a water turtle. Squirtle. Just good at being bad. How's that go? Uh, the, on the only thing we're guilty of is we're just good at being bad. Yep. All right, let's fight Brock. I, ha I have that on my... Uh when I do my runs and walks. Oh, yeah? yeah All right. Can you get your first badge? So here's Brock. All right, Brock. I'm back. So hit A. Yeah. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit. That's right. My Pokemon are all the rock type. You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? Yeah. That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. No such thing as losing. All right. So he has two Pokemon. He's pretty tough looking though. He's 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 tough. What he's do I got a helmet on? You got a hat. Oh. He's got a hat. What's that? Oh. So he's starting with Geo Dude again. Yeah, but we but, beat the hell out so of him. So you got to use Vine Whip. Time. So yeah. A and then over to Vine Whip. There you go. One time took him out last time. Let's see if it does it this time. Easy. So he only has one Pokemon left. You're already halfway through him. Bulbasaur's good. Well, and he's healthy. 220 experience. Look at that. All right. All right. He's about to use Onix. Ooh, we haven't seen so him. So I would say just say no. Stick with Bulbasaur. 
Here comes Onyx. Whoa! Yeah, Onyx is a uh, Onyx is tough. That, oh, I don't know about. I this would just guy. keep using Vine Whips. He might. Be, I think he can get him, because it's the same thing as Geo Dude. He's four times weak to Grass. All right. See, his tackle only does six though. I think. Whoa. Look at that one hit. One hit, easy. That was brought the big. Tough That's guy the big brought. tough guy. Look, right. Bulbasaur makes Brock, it easy. Big tough guy Brock. You're gonna level up again. How much? 324 experience from that. I should go back to the mine again? I mean, the hospital again? Uh, you can. I mean, you're only missing six health. No, I'm good. Yeah. I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this. The official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. So you received the Boulder Badge from Brock. It's your first badge. The first one's always the best. Mm-hmm. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the move Flash. He gave you 1400 bucks. Wow, Pokemon bucks. Pokebucks. Also, take this. He's gonna give you one more thing. He received TM39, uh, which it will, it will explain. A TM, or technical machine, contains a technique for Pokemon. Using a TM teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. So if you had a TM for Tackle, you could teach Tackle to someone. It's only good for one use. Once you use it, it's gone. Pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, the one he gave you is Rock Tomb is the name of the move. It hurls boulders at the foe and Whoa. lowers its speed. So nice. if you ever get a rock Pokemon, you can teach them Rock Tomb. All right. So you've now beaten Brock. He said, if you want to enter the museum, it's 50 bucks. You have 5,000. Um, so you can either go in the museum or you can say no. Oh, should we go? To yeah, we can go to the museum. So then, uh, no, don't go, don't leave again. You bought your ticket. <laughs> go, le go left. <laughs> um, if you go around the other side. Oh, so this is a fossil. Aerodactyl fossil. Nice. So you can actually find, you know, Jurassic Park, they took the mosquito. You can find a piece of amber with Aerodactyl DNA in it and revive one. So you can have an Aerodactyl later in the game. Wow. Walkway is another case you can look at here. That, no, the, the cases are the blue. <laughs> yeah, that's just a pillar. That's just holding the building up. Uh, no, 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 no. That's a window. So th this thing down here. Oh, this guy. Uh, so go down. There you go. Yeah, this case uh, on your left here. Oh, boy. I'm so that's the aerodactyl above you, below you. Yeah. So hit A. What yeah. do you got here? I don't know. It's not until wall. Kabutops. So that's uh, another extinct Pokemon. So we can. Uh, so at how one do I get him? Uh, same thing. We can find a fossil actually in the next place we're going. Nice. This guy looks pissed. <laughs> yeah, he's mad. Yeah, a Pikachu soon. I promise. Oh, he's promising his daughter he'll get her a oh, Pikachu. Oh, that's funny. What's those things? What what things? Oh, it's a sign. If you go up to it and read it, it will tell you. So we're actually going right into those trees there. I thought you said I couldn't. Go well, like trees. if you go up a little bit, there's like a path. See that? So we're going right into the. Yeah. Oh, I can I can cut through there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this guy will give you something. Oh, Brian! <laughs> oh, he came, he came... Okay. I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. So you received the running shoes. So, with the running shoes... Yeah. Uh, if you press the B button while you're moving around, you can run. So you can go a little faster. So, like, if you need to go back to a sense... <laughs> yeah, so you can really move now. Oh, that's funny. So, these guys all want to fight. I'm thinking if we get to the next Pokemon Center, that's a good place to end. Uh-oh. Yeah. Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? So, she wants to fight. But they're they're all going to have different types of Pokemon now. Last Janice. I like never hit battle. a girl in my life. Oh, we. I don't like bitches. They, they scare me. Uh, so, do I have to fight them? Yeah, you have to fight these. So if this Pidgey knows Gust, a move called Gust, it's going to do a lot of damage to you. So watch. Oh, that must be Gust. Oh. So it does a good amount. See, I, these... these uh, oh, it used Tackle. You're, you're good to just use another Tackle. You these, should be able to kill it. These Pidgeons scare me. Yeah, they're tough. And when they evolve into Pidgeotto, they're even tougher. Into what? Pidgeotto is what they turn into. And then those turn into Pidgeot, which is even tougher. <laughs> So, Pidgeys are flying-type Pokemon because they're birds, right? Flying-types are weak to electric. 
So Thundershock should do a lot of damage to Pidgey because it's flying type. What should I do? Uh, with I would do Thundershock. Uh, Watch, you'll see. So because Pidgey's flying type and you're electric. Oh, Nelly. And a critical hit. So, yeah. Wow. So you always want to kind of... I mean, it's stuff you'll learn as you play, but once you learn what types things are, you know what's good against them. And it's this constant switching out of this is good against that, this is good against that. Wow. Last is uh, dealt with. See you, Janice. You're mean. Here's 144 bucks. You don't know, any, you don't know how mean I am. <laughs> All right, which way? Uh, whichever way. Just in this area, you can venture around. We got another bug catcher. Oh, come on. Why these, you... these guys are all going to want to fight, but it's good experience. I saw you in Viridian Forest. Let's see what they have. Probably going to be some Caterpies oh, and Weedles. Rick again. Uh, this is Colton. I'd like to battle. Caterpie. You know how to deal. You can deal with Caterpies. Leaf Seed first. Leaf Seed's a good, with them. Good, ver good first move. Um, Don't these guys just harden? Uh, no, that's Metapod. Oh. These guys string shot and tackle. All right. But Metapod, yeah, he just uses Harden. Which, oh, uh, he really got me good. Uh, well, that Pidgey did that to you with oh. other gusts. So that's left over from the last fight. So now, um, yeah, now you can use a different attack. So we're going to try Vine Whip. All oh. right, so here's the thing. It's not very effective. So Grass isn't great against Bug. Yeah, I didn't know he was a Caterpillar. Yeah, he's a Caterpillar. Oh, so, uh, oh, oh, good one. Critical, nice. So, uh, like the the other thing is like it turns into like a beetle, right? The little larvae. Thing. The little weedle thing. Yeah. So weedle eventually turns into a hornet. Wait, so weedle gets scary. He's he's level five uh, at the moment, but you can do whatever. I'm gonna go Pikachu, right? I guess, okay, so go. Does up. that mean I got 25 or 25 power? Yeah, Pikachu's got full health. Like Bulbasaur's got 25 out of. Oh, I think you stuck with Bulbasaur. All right, we'll see all right. Next time, because he's got one more Pokemon after this, too. So let's, uh... Oh, I should have leashed you. No, the tackle's good. It's really not <clears throat> necessary. And like I said, you can't get poisoned because Bulbasaur is poison. Wow. Bulbasaur's good. He's good. He's good early. He gets a... L he's not as great later because eventually... Oh, really? He gets tired? Well, eventually, uh, Bud, who has a Charmander... Charmander is going to eventually be a Charizard, and Charizard is really scary. Is Bud still around? Bud's still around. You just haven't run into him again. Man, I... He's lurking. All right. Bulbasaur, good job. So this gets really um, good for when you're fighting other people, and it says so-and-so is about to use Pidgey. Then you know, let me put Pikachu out there. They're going to use some water Pokemon and get Bulbasaur out there. Do we, what do we like with him? One Thunder Wave? Or? Uh, so the only thing you have that does damage is Thunder Shock. Thunder Wave will paralyze him. All right, come on, Pikachu. So eventually Pikachu will learn uh, Quick Attack, which will do damage. Come on, get him. Uh, That's pretty yeah. good. He is two levels higher than you, so. Next thing. Ooh, critical. Ooh. It's all right. That'll be fine. I should get rid of him right here, I hope. Yeah, this should do it. This should do it. There we go. Bug catcher is down. Pikachu's gonna be level nine. Wow. Now it has 27 health rather than 25. Ooh, um, but he's hurting. He's hurting. Yeah, your Pokemon are hurting, so you can go heal up or you can fight another, depending yeah, but, on what they have. I mean, everybody wants to fight here. Everyone wants to fight. So if you go behind him, so you can sneak around him, but you can't sneak around her. Man. Oh yeah, they man. saw you from far away. That look you gave me, it's so intriguing. Yeah, let's fight. Let's fight. <laughs> we got another lass. Oh, lass Sally. Oh, what does she have? A Rattata. Oh, what did we do to get rid of him? We got rid of him real quick. You can use anything on him. Anything you want. No, I think... What did we do to get rid of him? Well, that was early on. That was like a level two one we used Tackle a lot. Leech Seed's a good move to use early. There's a move Rattata can learn that's pretty tough. I don't know if he knows it yet. He doesn't. He eventually learns a move called Hyper Fang, which is scary move. Right, that should take him down a little bit. Yeah, that and then healed you up as well. Um, I don't. Vine Whip's not a bad idea. 
Vine Whip's a pretty good move. So you can use Vine Whip, you can use Tackle. I think either will kill him. I think we go Tackle now. Come on, get rid of him. There it go. is. Oh, a Nidoran. All right. So, Nidoran. Oh, is that the first time I've seen him? Uh, It was in the intro, but yeah, that's the first time we've run into a Nidoran here. Nidor Nidoran's kind of tough. Whoa. But... Yep, so that's all right. It, it, honestly, your attack falling is fine. Am I going with Thundershock? I would right Thundershock now? it again. It probably only knows Poison Sting. Uh, Oh, no, no, Scratch. What? Yeah, it new Scratch. It's fine. It's just going to keep scratching. You, uh, two more Thundershocks should take it down. Yeah, but I don't got much left in me. You don't. But... Wow. Now you can use a potion if you want, or you can see if this Thundershock takes it out. Okay. All right, going for the Thundershock. Here we go. Take him out. I can't fight it anymore. You got. Woo! Woo! That was close. You I might want to go heal I have, up. I have to go to the. Uh, yeah, the center. The red room. We haven't fought this guy yet. All right, we're gonna fight him. Let's see what he's got. This is probably a youngster. Hi, I like shorts. They don't talk about a lot. They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. So let's fight. Let's fight. This is probably Youngster. Oh, I haven't seen this guy. Youngster Ben. Ooh. He probably has Rattatas. Yeah. Oh, they're scary, though. Well, they 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 turn into Raticates, which are even scarier. Did uh, I get Bulbasaur? Okay, I'll take them. I'll, I'll deal with them. Okay. Nice. Level 15. Bulbasaur's getting strong. Oh, he's trying to learn his fourth move. So, you can only know four moves. So, he wants to learn Poison Powder. What's that? So, that's a... So that's a move that will poison the enemy. They'll get hurt every single turn. I like that. Okay, so delete a move to make room for poison powder. So I say yes. Uh, oh, so it's going to go through it again because he wants to try to learn sleep powder as well. Um, so now you need to make a decision here. You got four moves. You use Vine Whip, Leech Seed, and Tackle a lot. Um, and you just got poison powder. Do you want? You can delete one of those four moves and teach them sleep powder, which will put the enemy to sleep, so they can't do anything while they're asleep until they wake up, which takes no, a couple of turns. We'll okay, so I like the yellow. I think I think, I think the okay. stuff we got. Okay, and he's uh, youngster is about to use Ekans. Uh oh. Um, so you can stick with Bulbasaur, or you can go to uh, Pikachu. Stick with Bulbasaur. All right, here comes Ekans. What's an Ekans? Oh, we saw that before. We haven't seen Ekans yet. So Ekans. Does he look a little bit like that uh, other thing? Uh, uh I, I, I kind of know what you're talking about. It's a mixture of like Weedle and Rattata. Kinda. So what is he like? So he's poison. So Vine Whip is not going to do a lot. No. Um, Tackle and Leech Seed are going to be your best bets. Yeah, I want to stop. So again, like I said, they're not super creative with the names. So if you look at if you spell Ekans backwards. Snake. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that is unbelievable. We um this guy's tough. He's tough. They they're gonna get tougher and tougher. But you have a badge. We're almost at the cave, which is where we're gonna end the episode. Once we get to Mount Moon, which is a big cave that leads to the next city. Wow, that guy's tough. I don't like that. I don't, yeah. I don't know if Bulbasaur is good against him. Bulbasaur's not good against him. No, I should um, have went somewhere else. Pikachu, maybe, but that it's because Ekans is poison. So I poison mean, is... Uh, yeah, I guess you have to learn it. Yeah, so along. once... You know, so I'll, I'll try to tell you what types are coming up, and then you can, you know, make the decision on, on who you want to switch to. I thought we already fought this guy. I thought we were fighting no, the girl. So, uh, no, we fought... So we fought all three of these guys. There's no way around him, is there? I don't think so. I don't want to fight anymore. I just want to... Yeah, you got to fight. I mean, it's how you level oh, up, man. though. Well, it's, I, I can tell you. You got this girl down here, and then you got one more guy over there, and then that's it. Nice. Wanna fight and fight and fight. You got another You're bug really catcher, so you know he's probably going to have caterpies and yeah. metapods and weedles and all yeah, that stuff. So I think I might get rid of Bulbasaur. Yeah. He's got metapod. So who do you want to use here? Do you want to use Bulbasaur? Do you use Pikachu? Why don't we ever use the Caterpie? We can use Caterpie. What does he do, though? I, I'm. You can use Caterpie now, and it will be a funny fight. I don't... Let's do it. All right. Because here's the thing. Metapod can't hurt you. Metapod only knows Harden. Oh, that's right. That's but, that guy. But Caterpie only knows Tackle. 
Oh, so how do you tackle cement? That's what you have to do. You are you have to tackle the cement to death. So you have 35 tackles. Here we go. Oh, no. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh, that's too much. No, we got it. <laughs> it's going to go by this much. Yup. I would just, at this point, just... you're going to be hitting A a lot. Oh, God. Just like, hit A. All right. Here we go. We got this. <laughs> 35. Come on. <laughs> They should just give me a sledgehammer. There you oh, go. Wow. Caterpie did it. So Caterpie's going to get some good experience here. 169. Level 6. You might get level 7. Let's see. Oh, didn't get level 7. Okay. I think if Caterpie gets one more level, he'll evolve. All right. I want to get rid of him, though. All right. And then go up. And you've made it to the next po and That guy's not looking to fight. But you've made it to the next Pokemon Center. So if you go in here, you can heal up. Yep. And then I recommend, once you heal up, going back and fighting like one or two more people. All right. Just to get the experience. And, and I would say before you go, you might want to talk to this guy on the left here. This angry looking guy. Hello there, laddie. <laughs> have <laughs> I got a deal just for you? Hello there, I'll laddie. let you have a secret Pokemon, a Magikarp, for just 500. All right, so you paid the outrageous 500 Poké Dollars and bought the Magikarp. You want to give it a nickname. So you now have a fourth Pokémon. You have Magikarp. Um, no, we'll keep Magikarp. Okay, so hit B. It'll keep Magikarp. So here's your Magikarp. Oh, Magikarp. Magikarp. So now if you hit right, we learn. So he's a water type. Um, he doesn't have great stats if you hit right again. You will unfortunately see he only knows one move, which is Splash, and Splash doesn't do anything. So Magikarp is useless, unfortunately. Um, uh, do I want him? Um, well, if you can get him to evolve, he's really, really good. What does he turn into? He turns a whale into or something? he turns into a dragon. He turns into a something called a Gyarados, but you need to get him to level 20, so he can't do anything. It's only... not gonna happen. Today. Yeah, no, it's not. Let's go outside. This guy, get out of the yeah, way. Yeah, that guy's really in the way. Uh, and then there's a guy like in the grass over here. You can also go into the grass. There's other Pokemon we haven't seen yet. But then this guy probably wants to fight. Let's see what we ran into. Is it something we haven't seen yet? A Spearo. All right, we have a Spearo. So he's like a. An angry chicken type of thing. Yeah, he's an angry bird. Yeah. Right. Um, so we could catch the Spiro. Or uh, we could run. Yeah, he, he knows a move that's really good against Bulbasaur. Eek, did you touch me? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> All right, let's see. <laughs> that's funny. All right, let's see here. We want Bulbasaur to level up one more time. <laughs> She's got only one Pokemon. Oh, but who? I don't know. She has a Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff? That's Jigglypuff. Oh, what is what is he? Jigglypuff can be kind of annoying. So let's see what it tries to use. It used Defense Curl, so that's like Harden. It does the same thing. Um, so Tackle will do less, but we won't be using Tackle. Nice. I think a Poison Powder might be a good idea. If we can poison it. Nice. Oh, I got him. You got him. That, that does not always hit, so that's really lucky that that got. All right, let's see what it tries to do to you. Does he change colors? Pounds. Okay. Yeah, so Jig Jigglypuff um, in the in the cartoon it, it, and in this, it knows a move called Sing, and Sing will put you to sleep. If it if it sings, you'll fall asleep and you can't do anything. <laughs> Doing good. Jigglypuff can be tough. Nice. That was a good good choice to use Vine Whip. All right. Let's see. Is that enough? It is. Enough for what? Enough. You got to level 16 here, and I think 16 is a big level for Bulbasaur. So you defeated Last Robin. Defeated Jigglypuff. You got 224. Wow. 
What? Bulbasaur is evolving. So, Bulbasaur is now transforming into his next Pokemon. So, he's growing. He's basically growing up. So, all that training, you got him to level 16. And Aww. there's Bulbasaur. My Bulbasaur is growing up. Your Bulbasaur evolved <laughs> into an Ivysaur. So, now you have an Ivysaur. So, Bulbasaur is gone now. Bulbasaur is gone. Now he's Ivysaur. Or wow. she's Ivysaur. So, Ivysaur is... Uh, a lot tougher. But I think, Dad, that that's where we're going to end that episode. Nice. Nice. You did great. Two hours. So that was a two-hour recording. Two hours. Yeah. But video games go quick. Um, All right. Or it eats up time. Say bye to uh, Tinky Tune. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for watching thanks, that. Thanks, guys. That's a test episode of a show I wanted to call <clears throat> The D-Pad, which is where I have my dad play the games I played when I was a kid. So if your parents want to play and stuff, tell them to come and watch this. If I can do it, they can do it. They can have fun with it. Yeah, I so uh, let us know if you liked that. If you did, um, then we'll probably do more episodes in the future. We'll continue this, and we'll have my dad try out more games. Let me know what games you should try. But thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks, guys. Keep on trucking. Keep being yourself. See you later. See ya.